Hey guys, Steve Welch here, BMW Toyota in Nashville. Uh, the Sequoia build sheets are coming out. So I've been showing you guys a little bit about some of these uh, build sheets that you guys can look and see which trim level that you would want on the new 2023 Toyota Sequoia. Of course, they are available in the SR5 Limited Platinum Pro and Capstone. I am going to show you a build sheet on the most expensive currently being built Platinum that I have found. That way you can take a look at some of those options and see if some of those are important to you. I'm going to show you that build sheet right now. All right, guys, here we go. This is your 2023 Sequoia Platinum build sheet. Uh, obviously, you can see this one is the four-wheel drive. Um, like I said, it is available in the two-wheel drive. All of them are the iForce Max uh, Twin Turbo V6, uh, the 7951, that's your model code on your four-wheel drive. Um, the iForce Max, of course, 10AT means your 10-speed automatic transmission. Um, so the base model you'll see here is 739. Um, that is the base model of that particular vehicle. Um, your delivery processing handling, that is Toyota's number. Uh, for actually moving the vehicle to you. So the least amount that you can see the vehicle for is 73.9 plus this 15.95. That is the least amount you can possibly see the vehicle for. So what is that? Uh, 74, 75, 75, 4.95. Um, if my mass real quick is correct there. So that'd be the cheapest that it would be possible to see the vehicle for if it had absolutely zero additional options on it um, now like i said i like to go in and find the most expensive version this one's got sixty seven hundred and fifty six dollars worth of factory installed packages and options so that is um the reason i'm showing you that obviously i like to show you what the prices are and some things that uh, you can add to the vehicle so 20 miles per gallon is your combined 19 city 22 highway um, like i said on my other videos this is very very close to the tundra it shares the engine with the tundra shares the transmission with the tundra it is just really really awesome so, so if you look at your options down here you'll see 10 inch heads up display that is a standard feature on your capstone, but it is a option here on your platinum $600 option. It's obviously got your heads up display, speedometer navigation, hybrid system indicator, uh, power tow mirrors, uh, power extending tow mirrors with your convex spotter and work light. Um, that's actually pretty cool. That work light, it'll actually shine behind you. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but uh, 290 bucks, that is a factory option there as well. Um, so you see over here, FIO means factory option. But if you see PIO, that means it is port installed. That's like over there, that is port installed. Um, but you'll see rear air suspension. Your air suspension is an option. It's a $1,045 option um, that you can control the height in the rear. Premium paint, that's going to be on any of your pearl finishes. Um, that is 425 Power running boards on this one. Um, there are some that, um, that uh, you can get, other boards that you can get to put on the vehicle as well. Um, but you'll see $1,005 are there. That is your uh, power running board add-on there for you. Um, uh, all-weather floor liners, that's a port installed option. So most times you're going to have at least all-weather floor liners or uh, carpeted floor mats on the vehicle as an option. So when I was telling you about that this was your minimum up here along with the 1595, it's very rare you'll find at least not having floor mats as an option. Uh, TRD roof rack, stylish roof rack system, uh, helps you carry additional cargo. Of course, it's a uh, you know, TRD roof rack, right? Uh, which is a port installed option. Door edge guards, port installed option. Obviously, those go on the edge of the doors, keep you from chipping that. Uh, your TRD front skid plate um, protects the underbody, and it still gives you access to all the maintenance, uh, so it won't interfere with uh, block cooling systems, anything like that. So, um Integrated dash cam. I always recommend a dash cam because I have seen a lot of people that have been saved by the fact that they have a dash cam. So I always recommend that even if you get one aftermarket, I recommend it. Console safe. A lot of ones, a lot of vehicles are coming out with a console safe. There's just nothing that's wrong with a console safe when it comes to uh, having it. So LR wheel locks. It's nice not to walk out to your car and have somebody haven't stole a wheel, of course. So 
Um, but um, alloy wheel locks can always help you with that, at least to slow somebody down, if nothing else. So you'll see the total optional equipment is right there. Uh, $6,756 is your optional equipment. That's on this particular vehicle. Of course, you can get one with less. I just searched it by most expensive, and this is the most expensive Platinum that I saw that is currently being built. Once again, not coming to me exactly, um, but this is the current one that is being built, so I wanted to show you guys everything that was on here. So your engine, your iForce Max, of course, same engine as in the Tundra, uh, 437 horsepower at 5,200 RPMs, 583 foot-pounds of torque at 2,400 RPMs, insanely low amount of torque to get, uh, or low amount of RPMs to get that kind of torque. 10-speed electronically controlled transmission, we already talked about that. Body on frame construction, um, so it's your body on a steel ladder frame, that's uh, something Toyota's done for a long time, um, just a stronger way to build a vehicle. Um, Ultra uh, high strength steel cabin construction loop with your aluminum hood, front door panels, and rear door. So, those things are aluminum. So, um, if you're trying to stick a magnet to your back door, you'll notice that it does not stick. So, uh, if you're one of the people that like to do that, just realize that it will not stick to the back door. Um, suspension so, independent double wishbone front sp suspension, coil spring, multi link rear suspension. Um, twin turbochargers, of course, your electronic parking brake, you don't have like a pedal for your parking brake or that little thing you lift up in the center. Um, you have an electronic parking brake, so it will automatically engage when you put the vehicle in park or disengage when you pull it out of park unless you set it otherwise. So, um, but just saying that's the default mode will do that. So your hybrid is a parallel hybrid like we've talked about before. That means you have your engine, transmission, and hybrid all run within a line. It's not a traditional type hybrid. Um, the electric motor output gives you 48 horsepower to the electric motor uh, or from the electric motor. Um, your engine and body undercovers for your off-road, your drive modes will be eco, normal, and sport driving modes. Uh, your hybrid battery is a 288 volt sealed nickel metal hydride battery. Um, and it's uh, really cool. So, <laughs> so towing, you have a class four towing hitch. Um, that's right about right there. Um, that uh, and your wiring harness is for your seven pin and four pin with your integrated trailer brake control. So, um, which is right there. So you don't have to uh, buy a brake controller. It's integrated into the dash from Toyota to uh, help you to pull a trailer that has brakes. Um, so your steering wheel turns lock to lock is 3.4 turns. That's uh, how many turns that you can go all the way to one side to all the way to the other side. 3.4 turns of the steering wheel will get you all the way from one to all the way to the other. Four wheel demand part time. So you have the ability, the car can actually put you into four wheel drive if it senses that something is slipping. Um, and once again, 10 AT is your 10 speed automatic transmission. That's what that stands for. Uh, popping back up to the top up there again. Um, you'll notice that it says it's rated as a low emission vehicle. Check your local regulations, of course, but, uh, usually low emission vehicles are allowed in the hub lane. And when people see a vehicle, the size of a Sequoia in the low in the hub lane, a lot of times they lose their mind. So, um, I always love to do things like that. So, um, <laughs> just say it. So, uh, it's, it'd be really cool to put that big of a vehicle in a hub lane, especially if you're driving by yourself. So, um, but low emissions vehicle, this is going to be as, as good as you can make this size vehicle of course, for uh, for taking care of the environment, of course. So, um, but like I said, it'll make somebody look twice if you're in that hub lane by yourself in that big of a vehicle. So, uh, drivetrain, we already talked about drivetrain, automatic limited slip diff, um, active aero spoiler and grill shutters. Those are actually pretty cool. I did a video on the Tundra that showed how the front spoiler works. So it will actually drop a spoiler underneath the vehicle when you get to a speed of about 30 to 35 miles an hour. It will drop that spoiler down to help you get even uh, better fuel economy than what you would otherwise. Active grill shutters, guess what, does the same thing. Um, you actually have those little shutters that are in the front of the vehicle, just in front of your uh, your radiator, what the, they'll do is they'll actually shut to not let that air through there. 
and it'll direct it off to the side. It'll give you a little bit better fuel economy as long as the engine does not need the extra cooling. So um, it will see if uh, if the engine gets hot, it's going to leave those open. So um, electronic power steering, which is new for the Sequoia. So um, that is a, a different system. So that's what allows you to have the um, you know, the ability to have a power assist when it comes to the lane departure and the lane tracing system. So we'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, brakes, electronically controlled braking system, your power assisted ventilated 13.9 inch front disc brakes. If you have seen any of my other videos, you know that I love that brake system. Uh, so why do I love it? Because you have dual opposed piston, du or, sorry, you have Opposed dual piston brake calipers. What is opposed dual piston brake calipers? They are four pistons on either side and it allows your brakes to apply evenly, to wear evenly, to do all that stuff evenly. It is a safer, more effective way to do it. And I love that Toyota kept that when they uh, came over from the Tundra uh, and the uh, the old style systems that they've, they've had, they've just, they've made it better. So really cool so um the back brakes are 13.6 so that's a big break for a back brake um rear brakes with the single piston caliper on those uh, most of your braking is done by the front by the way so you have a start stop engine system um, so it can actually shut your uh, engine off at a stoplight help you save some more fuel uh, <coughs> excuse me you have a 184 foot pound of torque that comes from your electric motor stainless steel exhaust system and then you have a direct and port inject it's also known as dual injection um, that is the um, way that toyota does their engine system so it'll actually shoot the fuel into the side of the engine and also through the top so that helps keep your engine clean and running amazingly so yeah you'll you'll know um tow haul modes so I, it's exactly what you think it is <laughs> So if you want to see about your bore stroke timing, anything like that, it's right there for you. Trailer sway control, trailer backup guide system with straight path assist. Um, that is pretty sweet too. So um, the uh, turning circle diameter curb to curb. So this 40.22. So what that's telling you right there is that you will have a 40 feet. Um, so if you turn it all the way so that uh, when we were talking about earlier, the 3.4 turns lock to lock, which was over there, if you turn it all the way from one side and you just hold it there and you let the thing turn in a circle, it's going to need 40 feet to make that circle. So that's what that is. Um, I-Force Max Hybrid, of course, weight rating is 7560, which is right below there. The 7560, obviously, with some options, can change but uh, that is the weight rating on the Platinum. So um, front door handles with the touch sensors and unlock features, your dark chrome and accented mesh grill with your chrome surround, your iForce Max hood badge, your Sequoia rear door badge, heated power outside mirrors, um, your driver's side auto dimming mirror. So your driver's side will dim automatically for lights that are behind you. Um, like I said, the mirrors are heated. You also get your blind spot warning. That's all standard. Power folding, um, that's standard. And your reverse tilt down features. And like I said, I will show you how to adjust that. Um, I do have videos out there about how to adjust the reverse tilt down feature. I will show you on this vehicle as well um, when I get one to show you on. Um, <laughs> just saying. So single exhaust tip, black mounted, roof mounted shark fin antenna. Uh, LED taillights with sequential turn signals. Sequential means it kind of goes in an order, so that's where it's kind of like trailing off from one side to the other. 20-inch wheels, guys. 20-inch black alloy finish wheel, machine finished. Uh, front and rear mud guards, so those are going to be standard on that one. Um, your Sequoia badge, of course. Rain sensing, washer-linked uh, windshield wipers, so they'll come on if there is anything liquid on the, uh, on the front glass there. Color key door handles with the dark black chrome plated roof we, roof ah, roof rails, easy for me to say, um, and your gloss black painted pillars. LED fog lights, premium LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, sequential turn signals. Once again, we talked about that already. Uh, auto on and off feature, automatic leveling adjustment. Um, so if you look right here, um, 
There have been some where you actually could adjust it, but it looks like your headlights will adjust automatically um, on the uh, on the Sequoia to whatever the level it would need to be is. Exterior dimensions, not going to go over those specifically. You guys can look at those if you need to there. Um, interior overhead console with window control. We're still debating on this, um, and, and a couple of us have been talking about it, that if you look at this one, you're going to notice that uh, we'll kind of look down. It also has a uh, spot where it talks about the back window. Um, and it was, um, but we'll, we'll find it in a second, but I'm going to uh, pop back over here and you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, overhead console, window control, um, we think that might mean that you can power roll down the back window, but it also has something that says that it will, uh, be a tip up on some of these it has that so um, we'll keep going down and we'll look and see what else it says here so electronic locking fuel door you have um, two power outlets that are in there heated and ventilated front and rear seats so um, on the platinum you'll notice right there it does show that your rear seats are ventilated ventilated as as well as the front seats um, keep in mind rear seats mean back seat not third row Third row will not be ventilated on this guy. So um, that does not mean the, the all of the rear seats are ventilated. It just means the uh, second row, let's put it that way. Um, leather trimmed seats with premium contrast stitching, 10-way uh, power adjustable driver and front passenger seat. So both of them are 10-way um, with a four-way power lumbar support. So that lumbar will go in, out, and up, and down. So it can definitely... Uh, line up to what you need it to. So driver's seat memory function, panoramic view monitor, you can see all the way around this car, um, wireless charging for your phone, uh, your smart key system with your push button start, remote keyless entry um, with the lock, unlock, panic, tailgate, release functions, and remote illuminated entry, multi-level adjustable cargo shelf, three zone automatic climate control means that you can control it from the back seat for the back seat passengers um, and then obviously driver and front passenger have their own uh, settings of course so this right here is what I was trying to look for a second ago it says flip up rear window with the fogger and privacy glass so a couple of us like I said are debating over you have overhead console with window control and then you have flip up rear window with defrogger and privacy glass so the only thing that we can kind of figure on there is it either has the roll down back window or that this window control is like the old minivans where it actually pushes out the far back windows. Um, that's probably the more likely answer to that. And it probably has the uh, flip up since it specifically lists that there. So um, just mentioning that, but we'll see when we actually get our hands on one here. So manual second and third row sunshades. Uh, soft touch instrument panel, of course, that's all you know, normal stuff. Your instrument panel door and ambient lighting. There's going to be ambient lighting all over it. Heated steering wheel, you'll notice on the Platinum, the heated steering wheel is standard. That is not an option. That is standard. Front and rear assist grips, you can get in and out of the vehicle. Front and rear LED map lights, your 12-volt uh, auxiliary power. Um, what some people also call that is your cigarette lighter, so you'll have that up front, but it's not going to be for lighting a cigarette because you won't have that little thing you pushed in, um, you know, things that people that are millennials probably have never seen in their life. So um, <laughs> just mentioning that, I hadn't seen one in years, not since in my old 80s car that I had. So um, fixed center console with a gated shift lever driving controls. Four cup holder, center storage bin, level uh, leather trim, 60-40 split, sliding power reclining, fold down third row seat. So you'll notice power reclining, fold down third row seats with adjustable headrest. Um, that should be a power fold down too. So when it's power reclining, they tend to be power fold as well. Um, you'll notice this is pretty cool too. So you're reclining, fold down, fold up, tumble forward, captain's chairs with center armrest on the outboard seats. Um, an adjustable headrest, one touch access to third row. So um, that is the same thing that it lists in the capstone. So um, that should be a pretty cool feature. I'm guessing that this one touch access to third row will probably electronically just fold the thing all the way forward. And if you've seen some of the pictures, the third row access is going to be awesome on this. Um, you, 
it, yeah, you're just going to have all kinds of room to get in that third row. So it's going to be a highly useful third row, um, which is very good to know. So digital display, um, that's important on this one. Digital display, auto dimming rear view mirror, meaning that your rear view mirror is the camera. So it will turn into a view screen with a camera on the back window. Um, home link means that it will actually do your uh, garage door opener as well. Um, backup camera with projected path, that's pretty much standard on everything nowadays. Um, your drive mode select with your switch and dial. Uh, one uh, one rear and one cargo area, that your auxiliary power, we already talked about that. 12.3 digital meter, that is your gauges. So your gauges are going to use a 12.3 inch digital screen and it will be customizable. You will be able to adjust how it looks, um, but you should like that. Acoustic laminated windshield, that's just going to help keep it a little bit quieter on the inside. Power windows, one touch, auto up and down, that's going to be on all of them um, with your jam protection. So if it senses something's in the way, it's going to stop, go back down. Your sunroof, power tilt slide sunroof um, is standard. And if you notice right here, panoramic, that means it's going to be over the front and over the back. Uh, platinum badge, of course, illuminated center console, storage bin and glove box, leather trim, power tilt, telescoping steering wheel uh, with all your phone audio. Your 14 inch audio uh, is going to be there as well. Um, including uh, your wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay um, are going to be standard on it. This is the same system that's on the Tundra, guys. So you guys should like that a lot. People are loving the Tundra um, features that are on there. So um, it is really good. It looks like it kind of listed it twice right here for the uh, thing. So um, sometimes that happens. So. Um, Toyota Care, of course, no cost maintenance plans, not available in all regions. There is one region that don't give you Toyota Care, it makes you pay for it. Uh, but you can figure out who that is if you live there. Uh, by the way, if you live there, put it in the comments. We'll see uh, how many of you know that you uh, have to pay for it if you live in a particular region. Um, but uh, point out where you're at. We'll, uh, we'll have some fun with that. Um, Tire pressure monitor system. I believe it's going to list each wheel, so it will tell you where it's at. Safety Sense 2.5 is the latest and the greatest when it comes to Toyota Safety Sense. Your pre-collision system, pedestrian detection, that's also low light pedestrian detection, full speed dynamic radar cruise control, radar cruise control, your um, uh, lane departure with steering assist, lane tracing while you're in radar cruise control, your automatic high beams, road sign assist. It this. This system, and I've gone over that system in some of my other videos, um, look up the 2.5 system, and I think you will be very impressed with what it can do for you. Um, eight airbags, including your driver, passenger side, knee airbags, blind spot monitor, we already talked about that. Rear cross traffic alert, somebody's behind you, it will alert you, whether on a bike, in a car, or, hey, walking, um, it'll do that for you too. Latch system, three-point seat belts, hey, that's... Uh, been around for a long time, uh, but they still list it because it is a feature. Uh, driver and front passenger active headrest. It can actually help you to, to keep you from getting whiplash in the wreck. Uh, at least it tries to. Uh, child protector rear door locks with the power window lockout controls. Um, like I've said in other videos, that is also for your friends. Um, if you have friends that are like some of the friends I've had. Um, so it's a, a star safety system. Um, the smart start stop technology, traction control, analog brake system, all that stuff's right there. Uh, drive start control and then front and rear parking assist with automatic braking. I just did a video on the Tundra to show you how to shut off the automatic braking if you need to for whatever reason. Uh, usually that it means that you are either hauling a bike rack behind you or going through a car wash. Those are the reasons to do that. And you can definitely see the uh, disclaimers that are down here. Uh, feel free to pause and read those, but uh, it's all suggested retail. They tried to get everything in there and make me talk as long as possible. Possible, and I'm happy to do that just because I am here for you guys and uh, especially when you hit that like button I appreciate you guys for doing that as well and uh, when you subscribe we all applaud together so um, definitely do that for me like subscribe and hopefully this has helped you to know what you may or may not want in your new 2023 Toyota Sequoia Steve Welch with Beeman Toyota in beautiful Nashville I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you soon